Well, Michael, speaking of big watts and big power, we have a triathlon superstar on the line all the way from Germany. We have Ironman world champion and two-time Ironman 70.3 world champion, a guy who knows how to throw down some watts himself, Sebastian Keenle. Sebi, how are you? <laughs> hi, hi, guys. Uh, thanks for, for having me. Um, I'm quite good uh, considering uh, circumstances, yeah. Well, yeah, you were going to join us on one of these races, and uh, I was looking forward to that. I'm sure you were as well. And then you had a little change of events. Something broke. Can you tell us about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's totally right. Um, uh, I had a little crash um, uh, in the training camp, altitude training camp, when we have been in St. Moritz. I wasn't very fast, but you know what happens when you are not very fast. You are not, uh, yeah, hundred percent focused. And there was a little bit of uh, gravel on the on the road. And gravel riding is nice, but just when you know you are actually on gravel, and I wasn't aware, so <laughs> I lost a little bit um, grip on my front wheel, and boom, broken collarbone. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm quite good, like I said, considering circumstances. And um, if there was any time when this should happen, it's probably now. I found a bit of irony, Sebi, in the fact that when I looked at your social media feed the day that you announced your accident, that the, the picture prior to your broken collarbone was one of you cornering as if on rails around a mountain pass. And so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the spill, but we also saw from your social media feed, you are back in the water, gently easing back into it. Uh, tell us a little bit how you've adapted your goals now, not only in light of the pandemic, but now, of course, in light of your, your recent accident. Yeah, I was just about to uh, to start a really uh, swim focused um, uh, period, and <laughs> so of course this is this is not about to to happen uh, right now. I mean, like like everybody else. I mean, I'm not in 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 a perfect shape, but of course um, I'm working on a on a lot of things that you usually don't have time to to work on. And so I always look at this as as a, as a chance, obviously, um, to to be a better athlete and to prepare for hopefully what's gonna be a year with a two two time two times um, a chance of uh, winning a race in in Kona next year. And yeah, right now, um, obviously, it's a, it's a lot of time on the on the trainer. So um, I I think I'm gonna join one of these. Um, uh, we are uh, anytime soon. Oh, that'd be great. We will keep the invitation open because uh, it sure would be fun. You, you've got a great, I feel like you've got a great, well-rounded personality. You know, it's always fun to watch you race, but having you interview, equally awesome. So I'm going to ask you this, watching, I'm off script here, but watching yourself race, does that get that fire in the belly? I, I assume you can see this, you and Lionel in the in the heat of Hawaii. Does that get you fired up? Oh man, yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, uh, trust me. Uh, I uh, when when I when I ride um, like these. Usually, right now, I'm doing two two rides per day uh, indoor. I'm not riding for very long, but always for like one and a half hours, two hours maximum. And obviously, I <laughs> I went through through all the um facebook uh now kona editions all already in the last uh four or five years and uh yeah it's 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 definitely something that that keeps the fire burning and uh but i i i love even more to see the the, the other guys uh race because um yeah that that's what really motivates me Nice. Now, Sebi, you are a Red Bull athlete, and you've had the incredible opportunity to do a lot of testing in their performance lab. Can you share with us some of the things that you've learned uh, during some of those tests uh, that have helped you in, in your performances? Yeah, um, I'm, it's, it's always great to, to work with these guys because um, they have a very, very different perspective because they work with downhill skiers. Uh, they work with you know, snowboarders, team sport athletes, and so on. So it's always great if you if you are um, a triathlete. You, I mean, our sport is already very versatile. But if it comes to how you do a, a proper squat, I mean, there's no better way to find that out than to work with a coach that 
coached um, yeah downhill skiers, for example, like Lindsay Wan and and so on. So uh, obviously that is that's something really good to to uh, to work with when when it when it just comes to proper technique um, when you do do uh, strength strength sessions. But then also they uh, they did a um, a, a, te- a heat uh, chamber test and um, that was something pretty pretty crazy to be honest. What it does, especially mentally, to you. Um, usually you are always very prepared when it comes to the race in Hawaii, and I've been there always like four or five weeks prior to the race, and you you get used to it. But it was basically in the German winter when I got there and did this heat chamber test and it's it's so crazy how much it is a mental thing um as well and we learned some some strategies mentally but also what you can do to 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 cope with the with the heat and what's a good strategy to to adapt to uh, to heat even even before you travel to Hawaii so that you don't lose that much time like uh, one of the things you can actually do is have, having a, a warm bath um, after after indoor training, a hot indoor training session. So that's probably not what you want to do. But hey, I mean, somebody telling you it's a good session if you go to have a warm bath after a training session, it's not a bad thing, I guess. And then um, I did a lot of um, uh, testing on the on a treadmill to to find out about some of the new uh, shoes that are out on the market. You know, especially the the carbon plate shoes because obviously they 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 work pretty well if you if you run a certain technique. But um, it's it's just pretty interesting also to see how um, you. Uh, you can implement them into training, and if it's a good idea to to use them in everyday training, or uh, if you need to run a certain way. So yeah, it, it was a lot of things, and that's yeah, just also the time where you where you can do such things, um, and you don't interrupt your training that much. Ah, oh, great answer! What a treat to be in that uh, in that situation with Red Bull. So, Sebi, it's been a pleasure to see you, and I hate to say goodbye. I think we could talk for a while here, uh, but we look forward to see you back on our show. Heal up well, take care, and thank you for joining us today. I also want to just give a short shout out to the three guys that are absolutely smashing it right now here <laughs> on the left side of the screen hey bradley um uh, keep pushing <laughs> um yeah. yeah it's 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 just great to see all the all the guys you know i've i've i've, I've spent so much time with uh, for example with uh justin and uh and also with uh with sam uh over the years and i i just hope to yeah, to be be back racing anytime soon, not just um, uh, you know to uh, um, to make a living out of it and stuff like that. It's just such a yeah good company and um, yeah and everybody else obviously who is who is currently in this situation. Keep it up and um, yeah, I'm sure we're gonna see each other next year um, at one of the start lines. For sure, awesome shout out. Thank you, Sebastian Kinley, multiple world champ. We'll see you again soon.